50% of the population is overweight. And then probably about 30% is morbidly obese, right? And then you look at the map of the world, well, it's pretty much starting to creep up. You know, like Australia was not an obese country. And now they're starting to become, you know, obese. And then the Karabati, uh, Dr. Michael Gorin from USC did an amazing study on looking at the population of kids and adults in Karabati Island in the Pacific, who, you know, used to eat fruits and vegetables, were healthy non-diabetics. And basically now their diet changed, they globalized their foods and started eating a lot of chips and sodas. And, and of course, with that, obesity increases because they're no longer fishing, they're no longer hunting, they're no longer growing, planting, they're counting on other countries to just subsidize them with food. And so that changes the microbiome and the culture. So these kids, there's a you know high, high rate of mortality uh, in that population from that complications of diabetes and heart disease, etc. And they're also on an island, so it's very difficult to get the, the kind of care we get here in America. So if you look at these islands, the rate of obesity is high. That's why it's important in a way to protect these islands during COVID because they are, you know, um, at risk of catching COVID because the, the, the risk is higher in over in patients that are, have a weight problem. Absolutely. That's fascinating. So it's really coming down. What I hear you saying is it's really coming down to the processing of our food, to the chemicals in our food, that's really affecting and destroying our microbiota. So kind of uh, the lesson that I'm hearing is, you know, eat real food. Um, and you know. quality, quality. It really is, I, I think, you know, unfortunately the FDA is stretched, right? So, you know, when I show you a paper where basically, you know, our foods that we think has a certain bacteria doesn't have that certain bacteria, you know, the, who's checking that, right? Who's checking all? I mean, the population is big and of course there's products that are just coming out and out. But I think at some point we need to stop the mass consumption. I think, you know, places that are selling mass products, you know, the gallon of cream cheese that you're buying at Costco, you don't need to buy a gallon of cream cheese because pretty soon you're gonna be wearing that cream cheese. So maybe we just need that small little container and just, you know, change just a little bit more diversity and less of the quantity. And I think that's the problem is we've become too much. Too much of anything is bad. You know, too much uh, alcohol is bad. Too much coffee is bad. Too much uh, fat is bad. Everything in moderation is OK, but too much of anything. So I think overproduction and with the overproduction, not enough quality, super, I think we need to, you know, 2022 and, a, and above needs to be a years of quality, supervising the quality. 